National 5 practical woodwork, it's a lead into apprenticeship skills, so we're going to be learning techniques on how to do wood, marking out woodwork, joint making and construction and assembly of small wooden projects. It could be currently a toolbox that we're going to be making or a mirror frame, so we're looking at carcass joints and frame joints. So a typical week in the workshop will be doing practice joints to get rid of any big gaps, wee errors, and learn the best pr practices of making the work. Uh, we'll also be writing up and evaluating what we've been doing so far, so we're keeping a wee logbook where you'll be telling you what joint you made, how it was made, what tools you used in general workshop safety. Uh, this all reflects on how you're graded in your practical assessment. What we're looking to do is get to a point where the joints are done independently by the pupil and also done to a high degree of accuracy. So the more we practice the joints, the better we become. If from there we can work independently and aim towards our final project. The course is laid out in a way where you do a practical assessment, which is out of 70 marks, and an exam, which is out of 60 marks. Uh, the practical assessment will be told to us uh, around about December time, so we should have all the information and all the skills built up before then. So there will be some new techniques that we'll be learning, some new tools that we're getting shown and some new machinery we'll be getting shown. Kids or pupils may get a chance to use the lathe, which we've maybe not used before as well. But we're always about building up that degree of tolerance and getting work accurate. Uh, measuring and marking out and independence I think is the biggest thing. So being able to learn a joint, practice that joint and get comfortable that if you were to then be told I need a cross having joint mm -hmm. for example, you can go away, you know exactly what the joint is, you can make it yourself and then work just independently mm -hmm. on your own. There's a big, big uh, emphasis on working independently mm -hmm. in the project, especially when it comes to your final project. It's ideal if you're aiming to maybe try and go for apprenticeships, it's a great skill to have because you're going to be learning how to work with your hands, you're going to learn how to do new uh, techniques and kind of work on accuracy. So if it's an introduction to possibly apprenticeships that are in joinery, cabinet making, engineering fields, because marking out and measuring, whether it be in woodwork or metalwork, it's the exact same skill. You know, it's just how you then apply that to the job. Good conduct, good work practices, health and safety, it's a big thing in industry just now. So learning that in school and how to be act, act and respond to those sort of circumstances is a, a good, good skill to start learning.